back and today in this awesome video I am going to be showing you how to make a web browser in Visual Studio. So I've never done a Visual Studio um, video before so this will be the first one and a web browser is actually one of the easiest things to make in uh, Visual Studio. So to get started let's go to the link in the video description and you're gonna download web browser project files dot zip. So go ahead and click on download up here and I'll download it. Now we're going to drag this to our desktop, but since I already have it, I'm not going to drag it to my desktop. We can now get rid of this. Let's go ahead and open this folder up, and we're going to drag these to our desktop, just like that. And you see we have those. We can now delete this file. Open up a new Windows Form application on Visual Studio, and it should look like this. So to start, we will need one, two, three, four, five buttons, okay? So we're gonna get five buttons. So we're gonna find a button. One, two, three, four, five. So that's button five, four, and three, two, and one. So I'm just gonna organize them in these so that way you can see them. We're also gonna need to scroll all the way down until you see web browser. Drag that in. And if it show and if it shows something like this and and it has something like this that filled the whole screen with that, you don't want that. So you're gonna click here, and you're gonna click undock in parent container, okay? And that will just undock it so that way we can move it around wherever we want. We're gonna need one of those. And we're also going to need a text box, okay? So let's grab a text box. Okay, if you can't find it, just search it. It's good. Bam. Now, these are the items that you will need, okay? So, let's start by arranging them in order on how we'll want them. So, first of all, actually, we will start by uploading the images to these buttons. So, as you can see right here, we got Go button, Home button, Refresh button, Back button, and Forward button. So, we're going to start off with a Go button. So we're going to name button one, and we're going to name it go, just like that. You can do it anything you want, just something to do with like go. And then we're going to need also a home button. So we're going to upload the home icon into a home button. So go here, and we're going to click on image. We're going to click this button and click a local resource, okay? Import, and then do the home button. Click home. Okay, and now change the text, change this text to have nothing, okay? And that's going to leave us with a house. So change that right there, just to make it big enough so that way it can see. And also change this to the size of that, just so that way it looks nice. Button three will be no text. Can also edit it from this. Just scroll down and then put the text in there. But you can I just do it from there. And we're gonna click image and you know what to do. Local resource import and then go to your desktop and select the button that we want, which we want the uh, forward button or the back button or whatever we want. I'm gonna just do the back button. Uh, we're gonna open it. And we're going to click open. Now just change that to the size that this is. And then we're going to do that rip for all of the rest. And I'll come back when that's... Okay, so now we've got everything organized and, and got the images placed in. And we got the web browser right here. So now it's time to go into the programming of these buttons to make everything work. If we start this program you see that these buttons and this text box will not do anything for us quite yet. And that is because we haven't programmed it. As you can see, the home button doesn't do anything. Any of these buttons don't do anything. The text box doesn't do anything. And the web browser doesn't do anything either. And that is because um, of that we haven't programmed it yet. So let's go ahead and program it. So we're going to first program this home button because it's first in there. And we're going to go to the script file here. And you're going to 
copy this, okay? And mainly what this is going to do is it's going to choose to do web browser 1. That's our web browser name. And we're go and it's going and it's going to make it navigate to the specified page google.com. Now you can change this to wherever you want it to go when you click the home button. But I'm just going to leave it at google.com because it's simple. And that's mainly what everybody uses as a search engine these days. So we're going to go ahead and click on the home and double click on it. Now we're going to paste the code in there. Oops, not a plus. And as you can see, this works like this. And it says within events from web browser one as web browser, it's going to navigate to this link. Now, if we start this program now, when we click on, when we click on this, it will bring us to Google. And here we can do everything we want here. So that's where this goes. And then we're going to go ahead and click on here and we're going to do the back button. So let's go ahead and do that now. So back button. And go go ahead and do back button and script and we're going to copy this and telling the web browser one to go back when it's clicked we'll paste that in right there within events from web browser one it's going to go back as a boolean all right now we're going to do it for the rest and i'll come back when that's done Okay, so now that's done. So as you can see, this text box, okay, I'm just going to tell you this right now because a lot of you will get, probably get confused by this. This text box right here does not need to have a script to it because the go button will handle that. So that's just one thing that you want to note. Okay, so let's go ahead and start this and see how it works. As you can see, we have our web browser. We click, click home will bring us to the Google website. We can go back and forward, but those don't do anything because we are not on another website. So let's go ahead and type in a website. Let's go um, ask.com. And you may get these. An error has occurred in the script on this page. Just click yes through those messages and you should be good. Um, so if you go back, you can go to Google. If you go forward, you'll go back to the ask. And you can reload the page. As you can see, it reloaded them because that. And the text bar and the go button works. So that's mainly it for that. And what we're going to do is to make this, we're going to go to build and we're going to click build solution, okay? And it says build succeeded and great. Now we're going to type in the web browser one. And you're going to see right here web browser one and web browser one. It's that icon right there. You're going to click open file location and you're going to click on bin, okay? And you're going to click on debug. And you're going to drag this program to your desktop, okay? So let's go ahead and minimize out of this and drag this program to your desktop. And there you go. You have created your own functional web browser, as you can see right here. You've created your own functional web browser that then you can launch from your desktop as a real application. Thanks for watching this awesome video, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!